Hey guys, I wanted to share another story, a quick story with you about why the Jersey Shore for me is so special. I come from a very large family. I have 18 first cousins on my mom's side and 19 on my father's side. My grandmother on my mother's side came over from, to America from Italy with her seven sisters. They ended up landing in Philadelphia and then eventually to South Jersey as well as the Jersey Shore. My grandmother, um, her name was Antoinette Saracini. She ended up marrying a man from Italy who came over to America to live. His name was Gaetano Borelli. And Interesting enough, her sister Vincenza ended up marrying my grandfather's brother, Ralph Borelli. So we call my grandmother Nonna, which means grandmother in Italian, and my great aunt and uncle Zia and Zio. And uh, that means aunt and uncle. I'm not sure why we d didn't call my grandfather Nonno, but we called him grandpa. Um, so not sure why. Anyway, most of the story has to do with my mother's side of the family as they were the relatives who bought houses in Cape May, New Jersey uh, back in the 1900s and why the Jersey Shore is so special to me today. My grandmother and grandfather bought a three bedroom rancher on Ohio Avenue in Cape May, New Jersey before I was even born. They wanted to share it with their six children, their spouses, and their 18 grandchildren eventually. You would think how, how the heck did all these people fit in such a small house, but we did somehow, and we had fun. One of my grandmother's other sisters, Aunt Virginia, and her husband, they also purchased the house on Cape May on Lafayette Avenue, um, so it was walking distance to us. They also wanted to share that with their large family. Um, so it was walking distance. We would go back and forth constantly. It was a bunch of fun. We would, uh, we would enjoy long weekends in the summer with my cousins and grandparents until my grandfather passed away. After he passed away, my grandmother moved in with my mother, my father, and me and my three siblings. I loved having her live with us. We got very close. My family ended up spending whole summers in Cape May, New Jersey after my grandfather passed because Nana couldn't stay there alone. Every weekend, my aunts and uncles and cousins would come down and we would head to the beach all day long. We would meet our other cousins um, from Lafayette Avenue at the beach as well. We had a compound of our very own at Staggers Beach in Cape May. I remember my aunts making tons and tons of peanut butter and jelly sandwiches for us to eat at the beach. Um, and my grandmother would stay home. She would make a huge pot of gravy with meatballs and sausage and pasta and um, for us to have um, a large family dinner when we arrived back from the beach. My grandmother eventually passed away and the home was sold after that, which was very emotional for me. I still pass the house a couple times a year to remind myself of those wonderful memories. And I make my kids come by too as well and my husband. So this time was very special to me and my entire family and something I will always treasure and never forget. The shore to me means creating memories year after year with family and I continue to do that with my own family today. My kids are now 19 and 24 and love coming to the shore as well. Ready? Are you, if you're ready to create your own family memories at the Jersey Shore, we have over 1,250 rental homes there. Uh, they accommodate all sizes and budget. Don't wait. Book your vacation rental today at shoresummerrentals.com. Thank you guys so much for listening and have a great day. We'll see you at the